Hey everybody, I want to show you all of my MDF um, pieces that the chef teacher at work has cut for me. Um, they're half inch, they have the mitered edges. Um, I've got some 18 by 18s, 12 by 12s, 10 by 20s, 10 by 10s. Um, here's some that I've just primed that um, then I will sand. So, and here's one that I have primed and sanded. It is a 10 by uh, 20. And I'm super excited to paint on these. I mean, I've been using it, the MDF for the circles. So I'm excited to uh, do them on squares instead of canvases. Um, they are... I'm sure I'll go back to loving my canvases, and there is a certain appeal of that nice thick canvas. This is obviously thinner, but I like the rounded edge. Um, a nice hard surface on the back to tape off so that I can resin. I think I will probably resin all of these MDF pieces. Um, so I think that's what I will do. Uh, they are a lot more work because I'm priming and sanding, but I find that process calming and makes me feel more like a part of the art. So, yeah, so that's what's going on there. I'm going to have to invest in a lot more resin, <laughs> but I saved some money on these versus canvases, so I suppose I can... That is, I got little piece of sandpaper actually. Um, but I do like that this is sturdy for when I resin and other things I can sand, I can sand it, which is nice. Um, the resin on the canvas, I always had to be very careful on the back because Using a razor blade <laughs> to scrape resin on a canvas is a very dangerous thing to do. And I do want to show you this painting. Um, was it 251? I don't know what it was. But it was the long one. <laughs> and it turned out gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. There are, can you see them? Ah. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. Pinholes, a lot of pinholes. So I'm thinking I did not torch it enough because I used the straw so much. So the straw put a lot of um, air into the paint. So it's okay. I mean, I'm going to resin it. So, but there you can see them. But look how cool. This is just so neat. I love this part. That's definitely my favorite. And then this is a little one from the video, the raw umber. Mallet smash with raw umber. And that turned out nice. I love that little part. There's some really cool areas in this. And now back to this one. Make sure. Okay. Yeah, I've got an odd shaped one he cut. I think it's uh, like 10 by 17. I don't know, 10 by 15. 10 by 18. Some weird made up number that's not on the canvas because he had scraps left over. So, so I've got Blick Magenta, um, Windsor Blue and White, I'm shaking instead of stirring, Liquitex Primary Yellow, and Grumbacher Mars Black. Those are all mixed with Floetrol and water. The only one with silicone is the blue. I've been getting tons of comments on silicone. Um, a lot of people are watching really 
old videos, like some of the firsts. And I don't even remember what I did on some of those and I didn't always say, but uh, now I don't use much silicone at all. And I usually only use it in one single color. So generally if you're watching a video that's in the 200s and up, at least definitely for sure, um, is probably silicone in just one color, if at all. The very early ones, like the flip and drag, I used to spritz um, WD-40 into the flip cup and do it. Ugh, I got stuff everywhere. All right, and my white paint is Dutch Boy interior latex paint. And I'm pouring it out of this jug. If I can open it. Come on. So I told you guys the other day I was saying how I didn't want a snow day because we were going bowling with my students. Well, we didn't have a snow day, but the um, weather was so horrible that they canceled the field trip because they didn't want us going out in buses. So it was like a double crappy thing. School plus no um, field trip. So that was a bummer. I was really glad I brought my lunch though to school because usually I go home and it was so crappy out. I did not want to go home for lunch. Because I live practically next door to the school, so it's very convenient. My commute is like, if there's no weather issues, my commute is about four minutes. Which is awesome. Tank of gas lasts me forever. Because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I go to work or I'm painting. Or I'm at Menards. <laughs> so the the black magenta, because you know how I used to love magentas, and it's not my favorite anymore, but I still do love it. But and I'm always comparing colors and the black is so much Blick, I would say, is closer to a fluorescent pink. Blick does have a fluorescent pink. But I haven't purchased it. I have a fluorescent blue, and it pretty much looks just like this blue. So my circles that are made with this MDF, I uh, use D hooks and wire, but if like for the 10 by 10s and the 12 by 12s, that's gonna get really annoying. Um, so I just bought some heavy duty, um, what do you call them? Sawtooth hangers. Oh crap, I just lost the black. Um, off Amazon. So I'm hoping I'm happy with those. I mean, the, the circles probably weigh, I don't know, eight pounds. No, probably not that much. But these go up to 25. But I think they're, they're only an, um, an inch and three quarters long, so they're pretty short. So, I mean, I could put one on the short end, but well, I guess I could put one here. This is only 20. And when I sell them, I will probably, actually, the ones I put on Etsy, I will probably just tape um, all of that hanging stuff in a bag so the person can decide, or else they can tell me beforehand. But they do screw in, so even if I have it displayed, somebody can always unscrew it. And then for these, since they do hit the wall, I put um, felt bumpers on the corners. And 
that I don't need to put this on bars. I can, I actually have a base. So hopefully I keep liking them. I mean, he can do any shapes. I could do some really crazy shapes. But then you kind of lose your art to the shape. Because he cuts out hundreds for one of, for um, a woman who does those door hanger things. You know, like the ones for all the seasons and sport teams and whatnot, those giant ones. So he's got all sorts of shapes. He was doing them for Christmas for her. My coworker and I were down in the shop office looking at them and without being painted, you know, with no reference, there was a couple shapes that were like, I don't know what the hell this is. We could not figure it out. And I still don't know, because he wasn't around to ask. But like some wooden shapes look really weird when there's nothing on it. Like there was, I think, like an angel with a trumpet or, you know, I mean, they just, they don't look right when they're just by themselves. Yes, I could start painting angels with trumpets. You know what would be cool though? I mean, I probably won't ever do it, but for like a kid's room, uh, <coughs> um, balloon shapes and then have like ribbons. I think that would be cute for like a little, little kid room. I don't have any little kids, so I probably won't be making them. But that is a cute idea. up the edges. I've been making sure I don't have too much on here. And the benefit is these can't sag <laughs> and they won't warp. So that's nice. I was trying to explain to my mom over text what these were because I took a picture and I was telling her how excited I was and she was like, I don't, she couldn't figure it out. So, torching that real well to get the bubbles out. But the problem from that other was due to the straw, I believe. Ooh, look at my flip cup. Look what's happened. Isn't that awesome? That's so pretty. All right, here goes. Ooh. Now I wish I could pick it up and splat it down again. But I am going to keep it. I kept it up more to keep the colors vivid. Had I pressed down and done my usual drag kind of that mushes the colors in. So um, I applied barely any pressure and if you could tell it was almost like half off instead of flat, it was kind of at an angle, which allowed it, look how cool that is. So we'll see if it turns out um, <clears throat> good. That's cool. Sometimes I wish I could just leave it like this, but that obviously won't work. Um, I am going to put some paint in that flip cup and cover, whoops, these areas which have no paint. Carefully tilt and hope that that looks like I have a whole lot of white on here. 
because this paint is just kind of gonna stretch it all the way out. There's, two, there's quite a bit of paint on here, unfortunately. This is looking cool up here. That um, magenta and yellow made a gorgeous orange look. And I'm tilting it now towards me to get, I don't have hands, right here, off the edge a little. I should say I don't have hands available because I do have hands. Yay, I just went over. So a friend of mine showed me online, you know, I donated <clears throat> those pieces for the um, Juvenile Diabetes Gala, and she is a attendee, or ticket holder, or however you want to say it. So she can see, because there's online bidding, so she took a um, screenshot of my art on there, so that was pretty cool. So it had like the starting bid and, um, but she's like, I'll keep you updated on, you know, bid amounts and stuff. And I'm not sure if I really want that because, you know, I think my work is pretty good and I know that, you know, it's like, oh gosh, what if, you know, what if I don't like the bid amounts, <laughs> but I think that is just everybody's natural feeling. I mean, even, you know, you hear big movie stars, you know, with the, you know, you, you always have that little bit of tickle in the back of your brain that's like, oh, will it sell? But if you're an artist, or it, it pretty much if you're doing anything that involves, I was going to say selling of yourself, but <laughs> not in the illegal sense. Um, you kind of have to separate yourself from your work, though. Because, um, yeah, because they, even though you are your work, you are not your work. You know, if somebody's like, I hate that painting. That does not mean that you are less than. It means that for some reason, that painting is not their cup of tea. But it doesn't mean anything about you as an individual. Um, so you've, you've got you to gotta be careful with that, not to let it affect you. which can be tough, but it's like you are your artwork, but you are not your artwork. <laughs> oh, I guess I should say your artwork is you, but you are not your artwork. I don't know. There's got to be some wise way of saying that. So far, this color is amazing. I... Quite honestly, was worried about the black. Um, but I couldn't be happier. I did, I saw something, I was tilting it, and there is something in there. Ah, I see it. I saw it. I'm kind of tilting it to the light. Maybe I'll just scrape the little. Um, I don't. I still. I can't find it. I love this. 
I really hope it dries. The black is stunning. It really is. Take my gloves off so I don't drip into it, which is the worst. Ah, oh, now there's a real chunk of something. I love this. Remember, this is what I always wish I could do an entire painting of, but I have yet to figure out how to do that. Um, so that I love. I love this, like, and then you see more of kind of this look right here. I like it. This kind of reminds me of a jellyfish. I'm hoping it does not break out in white cells. probably torch for longer than I should have, but um, all those air bubbles in that last one worried me. So I'm watching it and I'm watching all these cells appear. There is paint underneath this white. You can see it's dark. It will most likely come to the surface, um, but I think it should be okay because there is clean white here. So even if it comes to the surface on both of those, I think there should still remain a strip of negative space. Um, there's red under here, well, I don't know what color it is, under here that may rise. This webbing is still, I, gotta, I really want to figure that out. I just don't know how. Let's see how deep it is though. Oh, not at all. Oh no, that wasn't good. I'm going to put a little bit of white over that and pretend it didn't happen and hope it doesn't rise back to the surface. Loving it. Gosh, it really doesn't look good with the glare. It's hard to... See, and this, whoa, whoa, where are you? If I could do a whole painting like that, I would be one happy girl. Or the whole painting like this area right here. I just don't quite, haven't quite figured that out yet, but I hope to. <laughs> you can tell there's a, there seems to be a lot of silicone in this. Um, and all there was was a drop in that blue. But when I see it, I, when I'm looking at it here, I can't see it. But when I'm looking through it at the camera, I can see all of the pockets of silicone. Um, so I'll just have to wash this really well before I resin it. But thank you so much for watching. I like spending time with you. And I will catch you again. Bye.